Rose, he's got his own set of problems. I wouldn't worry about him if I were you. Yeah, but his problems are my problems now. Yeah, yours and the FBI's. They're still investigating him for what happened in Ireland. And what if Ramsey was able to clear up what happened in Ireland? Oh, all of a sudden he's not responsible for Marty's death. It's not going to happen. <laughs> you see, that's the attitude that concerns me. I know how much you hate Ramsey, and I think that you would do anything to bring him down, including using what you know happened in Texas. Which may come back to bite me. Catch my drift. I gave you my word, right? You help Marcy, you don't go down for what happened in Texas. When I run into Ramsey, I'll, I'll deal with him in my own way. The problem with your wedding? Why would I well, even care? You and Rex had a history. Yeah, that was maybe. high school. People grow up, at least some people do. I did, so did Rex. And it looks like he found someone real nice to spend the rest of his life with. Thank you. Yeah. I'm happy for him, okay? I'm happy for both of you. Sweet of you to say that. Well, that's a real positive way to look at things. And I hope you'll just stay focused on how happy you are and forget all about Shane and me. Now, I swore to John that I wouldn't open the door to anyone, so if you don't mind. Actually, I was looking for John's brother, Michael. Well, you can see he's not here, so um, I think it's best if you go. Okay. Bye, Gigi. Bye. Good luck with your wedding. You don't want to be my... Hey, you know, if it's the, if it's the toast you're worried about, yeah, no, no pressure. This it's is nerve not, It's not the toast. Hell, I'd love to make a toast to you and your bride. You know, it's just that I can't really commit to this. Not right now. Oh. Well, we can adjust the date of the wedding if you think you're going to have some kind of conflict oh, or... Well, some stuff, really. It's not that either. It's just that after everything that you've told me, I just feel that you should deal with this whole father issue before you make any decisions at all. I don't understand. What if it turns out that uh, Roxy was telling the truth, that, uh, that Charlie really is your father, then maybe you... You'll really get to know the guy. Maybe you two will become very close. And maybe it turns out that it's Charlie that should be standing up there for you at your wedding. Yeah. No, it won't. Even if he and I do hit it off, it won't be the same. We'll have only known each other for a short time. He will not have been the one that taught me the difference between right and wrong. That was you. You always told me whenever you were proud of something that I did or disappointed in me. Even today, whenever I make a big decision or, or a small one, I, I think, what would Bo do? I would not be the man that I am today that Adriana is going to marry if it weren't for you. I have to be my best man, Bo. Be on it. Oh God. Oh God. Thanks. It means a lot. Yeah, that's enough. Now I just gotta figure out how to get a real ring on Adriana's finger. Well, I don't know. I saw Adriana, and I think that uh, knowing she's gonna marry you, she would be just as happy with that little plastic <laughs> ring that she was wearing on her finger. But. I got a feeling that uh, you'd be a lot happier if, uh, if you could give her this. Wow. This was Gabrielle's. Gave this to her on the day that she died, and uh, I brought it back here from the hospital. I put it in that drawer. I haven't taken it out until just now. Oh, I can't. Yes, hey, Balsam, listen. I know you. I've, I've watched you with Adriana. I can see how much you two love each other. And I know, I know that Gabrielle would want this to be the symbol of that love. I'm very sorry 
that you had to suffer because of something that Jessica did at that time in her life. But I'm quite sure you understand that she was not well. I had to keep me out of prison, though, did it? Maybe you had better leave all this new information about her daughter. Probably has uh, Vicky quite upset. And we will finish our business real soon. Good night, Miss Davidson. I am sorry our meeting wasn't as pleasant as the first. <laughs> business do you have with him? Oh, I'm writing an article about him for Craze. Oh, let's change the subject, shall we? Charlie. Hmm. hmm. I would very much like to invite you to come and stay at my house with me. Well, I don't know, Vicky. Um... Unless you prefer to stay here, that's fine. Well, no, it's, no, it's not that. No, it's just that you've gone to such great lengths to protect your privacy here. I don't want to intrude. You would not be intruding on that. I would very much like you to be a part of that life. If that's what you want. Yeah, I do. Good. Will you come then? No. Okay. Okay, and I'm sure Dorian will be happy to have one less person living here. <laughs> oh, nonsense. Charlie, it's been a, a pleasure having you, and believe me, I'm going to wait in the time car. I'll see you outside. <sighs> oh, dear. Hmm. My surprise was spoiled. I never would have brought Jerry over here if I'd known Vicky was here. You couldn't have known. You're not angry at me, are you? You did tell me to stay out of things. No, it's okay. Your heart was in the right place. Good news. After I talked to him, Jared seemed quite open to the idea of a reconciliation. Of course, that was before your dear friend Vicky chewed his head off. Well, let's be honest, Dorian. Jared is not exactly playing by the rules. I mean, he's my son and I love him, but Vicky is completely justified in her feelings. That is really tolerant of you. Yeah. Look, I need to be with Vicky, but I hope I can continue trusting you. How many times do I need to reassure you I'm not going to tell a soul that Jared is your son? Hey, no worries. Okay. Thank you, Dorian. I'll never forget what you've done for me. And I'm going to make sure you don't forget. Ha, <laughs>